So my son's mowing the grass the other day and he says, Dad, the blade stopped spinning. This is my 30 inch cut Toro Time Master and immediately I thought that it was probably the blade engage cable because that's broke on me before and I have a video that I'll link down below on how to replace that. I thought that snapped again but it turns out after I found a piece like this in the yard that the uh, one of the belts inside that spins the blades whenever you pull that cable back one of those engage belts or drive belts uh, snapped so so in this video we're gonna fix it so to get started the first thing you're gonna need is a 3 8 inch socket and there's four bolts two on the front here one on this side back here and then another one back here you need to remove those four bolts to get into remove this plastic cover Whenever I opened up, I could see all this debris in here that's all like chewed up and, and then I can see this belt here is the one that got shredded. And it's still, it's still attached in there somehow. So I gotta remove this piece of metal here around this pulley and then get back underneath there. So we're gonna figure out how to do that. Looks like a couple of bolts here to get started. These are 3 8 inch bolts as well. So using the same socket that I used to remove that plastic cover. Okay, with that out of the way, it looks like the belt is free. So this belt is connected here on this pulley that drives the blades, and then it's connected up underneath the motor here, which is constantly spinning. And that's when that is engaged, that's what causes the blades to spin. Just for safety, I removed the spark plug here so that nothing starts up on us. Yeah, I have the mower laying on the handle. So this is the underside with the blades here. It gets a little complicated. So this down here, I believe, is the transmission that is used for the self-propel whenever you're walking behind this mower. It, it has a pace setter, so it travels at the same speed that you walk. And we have a belt that's connected to that transmission. In order to get to that, I had to remove this little plastic uh, shroud here that's for safety. There's just two screws on the ends here that I had to um, tighten with my fingers. That was pretty easy, just to remove two screws. And then I'm able to pivot this transmission just a little bit so that I can remove that belt. That belt has a lot of tension on it right now. But in order to pivot it far enough, there's this little catch here that I guess prevents the transmission from pushing too far this way. I'm just gonna bend that up just a little bit and get that out of the way and then I can pull this transmission back towards me and remove enough tension off that belt to slip it off the pulley, like that. So that pulley's loose and that pulley's out of the way and I needed that pulley out of the way so that I could go back up to the top and slide the new pulley that I'm replacing back onto that pulley. Here's the new belt, found this on Amazon. This is specific for this mower, I think it also fits another mower but this is for the Toro Time Master 30 inch cut, number is 121 5765. And I'll be sure to leave a link down below where you can, where you can pick one of these up. All right, looking inside the mower now, it's a little bit hard to see and it's a little bit dark, but here's that front pulley. We need to take the belt off, the old belt off of this pulley. And then the other pulley is up underneath the motor in there. It's right now it's kind of stuck up underneath there and I think what may have led to the damage here and this mower is five years old probably time to change this belt anyway but I know one thing that happens sometimes is whenever that blade engaged cable is or handle is pulled back too hard it can cause this it can cause this belt to kind of jump a little bit and anytime that it's going to jump out of the groove of, the pull, of either of these pulleys here, which probably not this one, it's probably the one that's back underneath the, the motor back there. But anytime that is outside of the groove of that pulley, it's gonna cause some wear on, you feel some indentions on the inside of this old belt. So a good, a good practice is just to pull that engage, blade engage cable back slowly. Pull back too fast, you'll usually hear like a squeak and a, all that kind of stuff, it's just bad for this. All right, here's that pulley from the underside. I'm underneath the blades, underneath the deck. This is the pulley underneath the, the mower and everything is 
it's kind of wrapped around above the pulley. This is the belt here. It's just a little thread left, but I'm gonna pull that from around those pulleys. Let's see if I can pull the whole thing out from underneath. There's a lot of stuff in the way up top, so there we go. There's the old one. You can see it's all shredded. You can see the two pulleys here. There's one closest to the motor. And this is the lower one. The lower one's for the transmission, which is right here. And the upper one is for the blade pulley. And that one's always spinning, so we're gonna push that one up, push the belt up against that pulley there, and it's gonna sit, and we're gonna have to go up on to the top side. And here's that belt from the top. It needs to go through here, through this area, and then here's the, here's the pulley on top. And there's just enough play in that belt. It's just long enough that we can kind of get it seated there on that pulley and then begin to spin it and then it pulls all the way around where it's seated on that pulley. Now there's still a lot of wiggle room here with this and that spins freely until you engage the blades with the handle back here. I'm going to push that down and you can see that it's going to create tension which is going to cause those blades to spin. Now with that belt on, we need to replace the belt that drives the transmission um, because it attaches to that pulley that is below the other one. So it's going to attach here and back here. Just going to rock that transmission forward again. Here we go, first pull. <laughs> 